hello everyone welcome to this video lesson today in this lesson we are going to solve a problem basing on vectors let us try understanding what is given in a problem it is given that a boy is hanging from a horizontal branch of a tree so there is a tree something like this the tree branch is horizontal and a boy with his hands hanging like this this is what the boy is right a boy is hanging with his horizontal tree this is how the boy is now i want to calculate what is the tension in the arms of the boy will be when the arms for what angle tension in the arms will be maximum what shall be the angle between these two hands of this boy and one and ham two so that tension between them is maximum that's the question let's try to understand first of all why there is a tension you know being a boy he must be having some mass so his weight will be definitely acting in a downward direction that makes his hands tight that generates a tension his uh, hand in his hands that that is the tension t assuming like both the hands are identical in nature this tension is also equal to t i want to calculate for what angle between the arms this tension will be maximum now let us assume the angle between the two hands is uh, some value theta 2 theta otherwise then this angle will becomes an angle theta now i can resolve this tension into components because this tension is a vector always acts towards a point of suspension i can resolve this tension into components now you can see the adjacent component will become automatically t cos theta and the opposite component to the theta will become t sin theta the same can be expressed with respect to the other hand also the boy is having a second hand this is also having a tension t this angle is also theta so that the total angle between the two hands is 2 theta so this t also can be resolved into components there will be another t cos theta in upward another t sin theta in a horizontal direction the point that i want you to underline identify is tension being a vector can be resolved into components how do you resolve a vector into components is simply we'll be writing how much is this along horizontal and how much it is along y axis and the simple point that you need to understand is the components of any of the two vectors shall be always along the direction of the vector as this direction is as this vector is moving away from the origin it's very clear that the components are also moving away from the origin same with this tension also that's a key point that we need to understand here now we can see this t sin theta and this t sin theta are equal in magnitude opposite in direction therefore they can cancel each other this t sin theta and this t sin theta both are acting along left and right therefore they can be cancelled with each other so there is no impact of this t sin theta as well as this t sin theta on the boy and you see the downward force acting is nothing but equal to mg the upward force acting is t cos theta and t cos theta therefore for an equilibrium to be attained for an equilibrium we can write the effective force acting in upward direction is the effective force acting in downward direction the effective force acting in upward direction is 2t cos theta the downward force acting is nothing but weight of that boy therefore i can write an equation for the tension as mg by 2 cos theta now our problem is this tension has to become maximum it's very clear from the basic understanding that this tension will be maximum if suppose the string is tight the hand is tight and that will be equal to mg itself therefore i can say the value of the t maximum is nothing but equal to mg itself if that t maximum has to become equal to that of mg 2 cos theta 
has to become one. Therefore, cos theta has to become half. That means theta has to become 60 degree. That's the angle between one hand and the vertical. Therefore, I can say angle between two hands being that is equal to two theta has to be equal to 120 degree. That's it. That's the solution problem. Follow the problem. Thank you for watching. We'll be continuing and solving the problems further in the concepts. Thank you.